Hey everybody, my name's Sean. I'm Riley. We're Big Brothers Gaming, and today we're bringing you hot, fresh dubs for four straight episodes. Four straight episodes of dub. Because uh, our, our audio, audio dropped again. They decided to just take a massive dump and uh, stop. So we're going to keep playing on Prey. Normally I enjoy taking massive dumps, but not when my audio does it. Right, exactly. Uh, we're playing Prey. We are picking up back where we left off. Uh, we are currently in the hardware labs. Uh, doing something I don't remember because this was like five episodes ago, six episodes ago. These are four episodes ago. This is the last four episodes. Oh, well then this was four episodes ago and it's I've slept since then. Yes. We don't remember what we're doing, but I'm sure we'll make you some relevant... slept about a week since sure, then. I'm sure we'll make some relevant commentary. It's probably kind of funny, but doesn't really have anything to do with what we're actually doing on screen. Because nope. the last time I recorded this, we were actually talking about what we're doing on screen in the game. And it's been a week since then, and who remembers, so we're just going to make stuff up. Yep, so I only found out two days ago that our audio dropped for whatever stupid reason. So, we now present to you, Bicker Brothers Presents Mystery Science Theater 3000, a la ourselves. Yes. Because, why not? We're just, we're, we're, we're making the fuck it adjustment. Oh, that's what this is called. This is the fuck it adjustment. That's the Game Grumps term for it. Oh, right. It's like, when I, that's like, whenever something's not working, they just say, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. We'll do this. Yeah, we, we, they did that as We a do that regularly. They did that as a concert. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. All right. Noted. Uh, well then, uh, welcome to Bricker Brothers Presents the Fuck It Adjustment. Mm-hmm. How have you been? Meh. We just finished to the moon and I bawled like a bitch. Yep. So that was exciting. You haven't seen that yet. Nope. That's just exciting. Like, Actually, no, they, they'll have seen that because this is going to come out later. Oh, okay. Wait, is this going to be back? Actually, right around the same time. Yeah. I was like, they'll come out about the like, same this time. This isn't going to be out. This is like, I was like, to the moon. To the, to the, to the moon. To the moon? I've been playing a lot of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, no, I was going to say this. That's is, what you should record for your solo yeah, stuff. Yeah, Watch me fail at rocketry. Yeah. I'm, that'd be that we that. can we can both do that separately yeah, on our own. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I need to buy it from mine so I'm not playing your copy while you're trying to record it. Yeah. $40 now, can you believe that? Mm-hmm. That's, it's really cool. I've been watching, uh, there's a YouTuber named NerdCubed. Yep. Who does a lot of his stuff, and I've been watching him play it. I'm like, wow. I'm nowhere near that good. Like, she's like, I'm not that good, but he can get into orbit like that. I was like, I... I, I can get into orbit, and I, I, I can get to the moon. I, I don't think I've ever actually landed on it. I, I have thrown myself wildly into it. I can't launch... I can't launch... Off of the platform without some part of my rocket breaking. You know, you, you got issues with the cracking. No, I've got issues with the uh, with the staging order. That's what I have issues with. Um, because it's it's not backwards, but every time I try and do it, like my space bar hits, and then it like does two stages at once or something. Oh yeah, you just got a wonky keyboard. Yeah. Um. So I got a wonky mouse. So. A lot of this, you'll know, watch Robbie not remember that his inventory is still full. Yeah. Even though there's a bright red thing underneath every time he looks at something that says inventory full. Yep. Robbie's good at that. Um, I don't know. I thought he, I thought, what, so what? Uh, this was when we were looking for that key. Oh, when I was trying to get the safe code. Yeah, that. The post-it note on the side uh, of the safe that we couldn't figure out was on the side of the safe. Yeah. Yeah. Um... So this is when I just ate everything. That's true. What uh, what are you thinking of, of this game so far? I love it. Yeah, you like it? You a fan? Yep, I'm a fan. Is, is it does it give you the heebie-jeebies as much as you thought it would? No. It I doesn't. Know, it I doesn't definitely... spook me as much as it makes me go, "What the fuck was that?" So I definitely thought it would spook me. No, I'm not easily spooked. Well, see, when you last time we were talking about this, we were talking about like uh, we were talking about Alien Isolation. We yeah. Started playing that, which you guys will have not seen yet. Uh, because that's coming out way later, don't worry about that. Um, That'll come out after this. Yeah, when we were playing Alien Isolation for a little bit, you were like, I, you know, sci-fi really spooks me. And I was like, oh, well, this will be perfect. Sci-fi sci spooks sci me. Sci-fi spooks you and mimicry spooks you, too. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, oh, Rob, have I got... Hang on, to hang on. I'm being cold. Anyway, where are we, what were we talking about? I don't remember. We were talking about... Um, Penis. No... No, we were talking about... Are you sure? Because we talk about that a lot. We were talking about Alien Isolation and sci-fi and... Oh, yeah, yeah. ...and you not being as spooked as I thought you did. No, uh, you, you, I get a different kind of spooked. Yeah. Uh, jump scares hit me hard. Yeah. But I, like, I have to be, like, alone in the dark. Late, late night. That's a game we should play alone in the dark. Yeah. But, uh, I, by myself, I get way more spooked. Right. 
all by myself. But, uh, yeah, I just don't get the same kind of spook you do. Right. But I, I get spooked over everything. It's just because of my general way. Yeah. Like, well, I'm also on anxiety meds now, too, so. Ooh, hear that sweet, sweet breach. This is where we tried to fix it, and we can't from the inside. Which you would think would actually work better. Because there would be a suction pulling that big glob there. Um, fire is often deadly. Often. Yeah. Gloop. Yes. The bloop. I blooped the bloop. Who was that? Who said that, Rob? Who said that? One if I uh, land, two if I see. Yeah. Uh, that would be uh, Paul Revere. Good, I'm glad you remember that. <laughs> I wanted to see if you remember it. Just I, know, I know my American history pretty damn well. Sometimes, well. Dude, I used to be obsessed with Civil War history. Well, I would hope that you know that because it's not like we did anything else crammed in our heads growing up. Yeah. All that, high, all that middle school cares about is if we know who fought in the Civil War. And, and no, I used to be obsessed with Civil War stuff. My grandfather uh, was a very big Civil War buff. Um, he had collectibles and everything. Like he, always, he went to Gettysburg. Uh, yeah, I've been there. Incredible. It's awesome, yeah. There's, there's, there's this feeling. Go do the ghost tours, yeah, man. Uh, I, oh. Uh, no, oh my I, god, that's I, what we need to do. That's what we need to do. I, when we get a camera again, yeah. we need to record ourselves going on a yeah. tour, ghost tour. Yeah. No, but I, I couldn't, because like even being there in broad daylight... This is the thing you told me not to do the thing with. You didn't do the thing with. I didn't. You did good. I did a smart. Because well, because I saw those and I went, no, everything in there is going to be a fucking mimic. Well, kind of. Um, no, but, to, uh, to, to, I don't want to say to but I don't want to say uh, but even standing there, like, on the battlefields. Oh, yeah. Oh, daylight, yeah. You just get this, like, shit went I'm, down. It's not even dread. It's just, like. Um, I had that happen to me, oh. uh. So uh, Smoky vibes, Mountain right? Knives has yeah. like a little antique section downstairs, oh, and, and me and Josh went there, and they have a whole bin of old Civil War musket oh, rounds. Oh, no. And I went through them and was looking at them, and I just started feeling like, whoa. Oh, no. Well, not even like whoa, like this is history that I'm holding there. Like for me, it was like whoa, like there were literally hundreds of thousands of dead bodies. Oh yeah. Five feet from where I'm standing. Oh yeah. And you get this sense of just like, it's not, it's like a supernatural sense of like, it's not dread, but it's just like a weight. Yeah. It's like, oh, and you feel all of that. Did you see the video I shared the other day of the miniature cannons? Oh, the paper, the, uh, the pencil, pencil sharpeners. sharpeners yeah. Back. Somebody yeah. took little metal pencil sharpeners that, that shaped like cannons. That sounds like something my Kayla would do. Yeah, that's I sent it to her. Oh, good, good. But, uh. She would, she's, she'd probably be all about that. It's a little mechanic, or regular <laughs> Pencil sharpener that had a cannon mount on top of it, it's like the, okay, and they so drilled it out and put a fuse in. And you know, you know, you know the collectible pencil sharpeners that like they're, they're like usually made of metal or whatever, like a piano, or yeah, or just one that's a can, and they drilled it out and turned it into an actual working can. Yeah, which is just, which they shot a pencil out of. Yeah, because why not? Because it's a pencil sharpener. You know, we 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 I have a good friend who uh actually makes uh. Like little miniature like yeah. cannons and stuff like that. Yeah, just for fun. Well, for fun, she sells them on eBay. Yeah. yeah. She makes she makes a whole bunch of air rifle type stuff. Yeah, she's she's a tinkerer. She's the definition oh, yeah. of a tinkerer for sure. That's really cool. She's selling and stuff. Used to have a. Still has a iguana. Still has a iguana. Yeah. Really. Yeah, she still has Nova. That thing is massive. Oh yeah, it's it's almost two and a half, three feet. Ooh boy. She needs a bigger uh, yeah, enclosure yeah, for it now. I bet. They still have a. Uh, uh, they still have fluffy too. Fluffy, yeah. Yep. And fluffy the. Uh, Bearded dragon. Bearded dragon, yeah. Because it's not fluffy. It's like. I got to name it. I was the one who influenced the name. King of Irony or whatever. I was there when they got it. Yeah. Wow. Long time ago. Yeah. Man. Isn't that crazy how time passed? Oh, and this is where we thought maybe that's the code to the save. No. No, in the game. We thought yeah, yeah, I know, but it's not. No, you're just being an idiot. Post a note on the side of the safe. 
Like, what is it? What is the answer to life? I'm so frustrated. 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 You can't read, like, maybe this note is the note that has this. Maybe this note. Is it this one? Is it this? We were idiots. We're sorry. Idiots. We're sorry that you had to watch that. We're idiots. I mean, we're not sorry that you're watching our content. By all means, thank you for watching and supporting us, but we're sorry that you have to watch us be idiots. Yep. Well, now you don't have to listen to us be idiots for that part. I know, they're still listening to us being idiots. Oh, well, yeah, I mean... It's less contextual. I I have an obsession with climbing things in this game. You really do. You have an obsession with breaking all the mugs and climbing all the things. Yes. That's all you want to do. And I'm like, stay on track. Well, because I think being able to climb up on some of those areas, I think I can use that to get away from some of the, like, stronger creatures. Right. Like Like climbing up onto the lights and stuff? But you do it even when there aren't stronger creatures. Just because I want to see if I can. Yeah. I, I like making escape routes. Yeah. Yeah. You're, I'm surprised you're not a dude. Also, you, if you think I'm bad about jumping around in this, you should see me playing Skyrim. I'm surprised you're not a doomsday prepper. I will. I, I totally am. Yeah. You've seen the back of my car. Yeah. I got yeah. three gallons and two cases of water. I've got two med kits, including needle and gut to sew with. Yeah. Like, I got all signs of crazy shit. All signs of crazy shit? All signs of crazy shit. Yep, all signs point to that you're a crazy shit. I am a crazy shit. Oh, Lord. And this is where we found, I think this was right around when we found out where it actually was. No. Oh, did I look it up? Yeah, yeah you looked, looked it, up. it up. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. And there's a sudden, like, sense of, like, clearness. Suddenly we go right back there. Yeah, like, turn around and just, I'm like, oh, right, that's right. I love the sound of breaking glass. Of course you do. You're weird. I am. You know, okay, what's your favorite smell? My favorite smell? Yeah, your favorite lavender. smell. Lavender. That's down. why I have a lavender like, plant. Hands down. What's your favorite smell? Lavender. Okay. My favorite smell is warm asphalt. It's a good one. Or, uh, or gasoline. You know what my least favorite smell is? Cigarette smoke. I love the smell of cigarette smoke. That's not bad. You, you, you know what my uh, least favorite my smell is? Yeah, what? When you're driving down the road, Cow and you got the window down now, you got the window down, mm-hmm. and you smell that sickly sweet scent of, like, either something dead or, like, the grass uh, decaying. That yeah, sickly yeah. sweet decay yeah, smell. Yeah. I, I, like, the smell itself I like, but there's something, like, really disconcerting hey, look, about it. Right, we found it. Yep. So they're like, oh, great, now we have to go check out the periodic table of elements. Which is, I think... Which is low res. No, well, I still... I still it's so low res compared to everything else, though. I still attest that that's one of the coolest ways to solve it. It's a puzzle. Like I said, oh, yeah. I love it. How far have you gotten in this game? Have you played more? Uh, I haven't played more at home, but I'm still way past where we are. In the game. Yeah. Because um, there's a whole section we have to go through uh, called Cargo, which is like a zero G. Well, yeah, the Cargo, two. and then we get to the Arboretum thing. Yeah, I'm in the Arboretum. Yeah. I'm in the We're Arboretum. not super far, but... I'm like three-fourths of the way through. Holium! Holium. H-O. Holium? Holium. Is that a joke? No. Oh. Okay. That's the actual elemental name, and it's a symbol is H-O. Hmm. It's the joke, uh... This guy was, uh... Oh, I can't, I'm, I'm going to botch the number, but okay, yeah. this guy was in uh, chemistry class and uh, this guy was making fun of him and he turned to the guy and it's like, oh yeah? Well, your girlfriend has 37 protons. Uh, and he's like, holy, what? Holy, yeah. And he looks over and yeah. it's holium, which is H-O. Yeah. Like, oh! Like that's such a science burn. Oh, I know. It's brilliant. It's like, it's like you have to have that table memorized, though, yeah. to be able to pull off something like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I like the, uh, the, have you seen the shirts that are, like, the, the phrases are never written in the periodic Yes. Or I don't know how to feel about this. I'm like, yeah, but, like, the collection of gas- You know what meme I'm glad is gone? Be careful what you say, you'll bring it back with one sentence. I know. The but sin nudes. It's not- It's not gone, it's but it's gone. dying off. <laughs> SpongeBob slowly taking its rise of fame, but I don't know. Let's just call this. Uh, we should just call this segment um, meme economics. Meme economics. I saw a video. I saw a video on Facebook, so I don't know if it's real or not. I pray to God it's not. But if it's real, I feel really concerned for the future of our country. I mean, not that I don't already feel concerned for the future of our country, but like, it was this video, and I could not tell for the life of me whether it was like an onion gag video. Like, it, like I couldn't tell. Yeah. It looked so real. But it's this dude sitting in a college campus talking about how he's getting his degree in memes. 
and the classes that they offered under the degree of me were like kind of I, yeah I like. wouldn't be surprised like you know you can get a degree in uh, pirate because the moment, from uh, right. I want to say Mark no, it's Princeton or Yale or yeah, something no, like that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what you have to do is you have to take uh, a sailing course, sailing, uh, horseback navigation. riding, fencing, and uh, Action, like. no, it's uh, a no, it's gunslinging, oh, like uh, a pistol. Pistol, pistol shooting. Yeah. yeah, those you have to take those, and they actually have an honorary degree in being a pirate. In being a pirate. That's so awesome. And I like I heard that. I'm like, I want to go there now. Oh, Not my my. my my GPA is like 2.0, but that's because I failed so many classes because I, I didn't show up or pay attention. I failed classes because I had to leave and go do medical shit like dialysis. Yeah. Um, and, and I just stopped caring towards the end of my sophomore year. But so I don't even have an AA. I don't have an, I was going for it. Yeah. Oh, let's talk about college. Let's well, I, talk about. Well, I, I just want to say, you, you actually had legitimate reasons why you didn't pay attention. I was just lazy. Well, I, I had rich white boy syndrome. This was also before your AD, before your meds. Yeah, I wasn't on meds, and I, I, I stopped going for a long time because I started getting very severely sick because of anxiety. Yeah. Um, because oh, well, college where, will do that to you. Here's where Robbie, here's where Robbie fails to realize that there's a tiny screen on the thing, so we wander around for five minutes trying to figure out where and I looked under here. press a button. Anyway. Uh, let's no. Let's talk about college because we both went to the same college. Yep, we that's both, where we met. We both put up with the same and then bullcrap. Yep, that the college did. We both of us. So here's the thing. I went initially for an AA. Yep. I then learned that they offered an AFA. Yep. What I did not know at the time was that the AFA they offered was defunct because they only offered the classes to complete the AFA once every four years. Yeah. Seriously, no joke. So it was a useless degree that you had to wait four years for. And here's where I accidentally target everything in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I still don't know how to undo that. Oh, is it still? We'll no, no, I mean, it went away oh, after okay. we changed areas, but... Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it was like, while... Te okay, and I, and I know what you're thinking, audience, I do. You're like, wow, once every four years, that's kind of BS. But it's not, because it still falls under the four years that you're going to yeah. go to college. No. No, no. It wasn't like once every four years, like, oh, this is the stat semester, you have to take these. They just only offer them once every four years. Like, them even being available to pick from on the class list. And they're booked out instantly. And they're booked out instantly. And then, while we were there, because we went to college at the same time, while we were there, me trying to get my AFA, they... I was on the same thing, too. Yeah, I was in AFA. They, they got rid of the drama program. Yep. They got rid of the arts program. Like, except for like and, and better yet, I was in the AFA drama track. Yeah, so was I. Yeah. And I got rid of the drama program. Without the drama program, I mean, that becomes yeah. moot. Right. All, all your classes you just took, totally useless. You except gotta go for, take except, other except, things. Except for your gen ed. Well, yeah, but I hadn't taken any of that. Oh, yeah, because who wants to take gen ed right off the bat? You're done with yeah. Nobody. I took nothing but art and acting classes. I took a couple gen ed stuff, by the way. Um, but it was maths, and it was like yeah. biology. Oh, biology sucks. I did geology. I hate biology. Because we had a lab. I like rocks. All right, Mod. I took rocks for oh, jocks. All right, Mod. Anyway, um, you don't get that reference, do you? No. There, okay, My Little Pony. There's a pony called Mod who's the cousin of the, uh, uh, Twilight Spider. I've cousin. only seen the first season. I know. Who, her, her family mind. Oh, oh, she's a cousin of Pinkie Pie. Okay. Her family mind rocks. And her pet is a rock. It's a pet rock named Boulder. And she's like dry as a bone. She's like, yes, I like that. And her name is Mod. That's great. Yeah, but this is what you just reminded me. So yeah, this is where I target everything. Right. This is where you screw up the whole thing. Yeah. So it was complete BS. I just wanted to look at things closer. Music theory was not fun for me. I hated music. Yeah. No, I failed it. I took and this is when I went. Oh shit. I took history and music, and I think I passed. I don't remember. History and music was pretty fun. I didn't like the teacher. Because all he did was talk about the one time that he played on stage with like with some some yeah. famous singer. I took chorus way too many times. I took chorus way too many times. I took drama. I took acting for the camera one, acting for the camera two. I took. Mm -hmm. I never did acting for the camera two. I did an introduction and I took something else. I took uh, voice for performance. I took that one. I took uh, acting one and two, acting for the camera, yep. and then I did stage makeup like oh, twice, I and I did stagecraft. I took stage makeup. And got gypped. Yeah. 
Because the year I took it, it was the one she didn't teach she it. Yeah. Didn't teach it. And you know who did teach it? Huh? Uh, a local artist who shall remain nameless. Yeah. Who had no idea what he was talking about. Yeah. In the slightest. I was like, yeah, you just do this. If you want this, you just put this together and stick it on your head and it looks like, oh. Yeah. No. And like, no. They, yeah. It was bad. So I dropped out of that class like a hot rock. I became obsessed with stage makeup for quite a while. Yeah, you do. I mean, it was, I can't, I would it's become, fun. I, I still do it once well, in a while. I had, when I was uh, uh, dating one of my exes, I would go up, because she was in that class, I would yeah. go up and watch. Yeah. Because the teacher was awesome. Was I like, got yeah, to teach the watch. class once. Yeah, I remember telling you that. It was fun. It was nice. But, um, oh, look, this is we found, we connected the looking glass. Yep. And the uh, red arrows were still there the whole time. Yep. And now we had to go back to the office to watch that. And the red arrows were still there. I'm pretty sure I was like, Robbie, you don't need to click that. 90% positive when you click on 85 frames or Robin, don't need to click that. Just go back to the office. But anyway. Oh, no, but the, yeah, I wanted to see these. It's almost like you jump into the office. And you told me to look around. Yeah, well, no, yeah, because it's, it's the exact same yeah. thing. Which is really cool. Like the design concept of this looking glass is really cool. Like, like, Turn the TV volume down a touch. It's like gnarly. Yeah. But I guess you forgot. Um, so college wasn't fun. Um, college sucked kind of for both of us. Yeah. Um, I, I, well, no, see, here's the thing. I liked college. I liked the, when, when I was taking those class. classes. No, I liked when I wasn't. In yeah, class. when we were just hanging out. That and... was the best time I thought ever. we were done. Uh, just, also, just one of our only it. successful theatrical like endeavors. Yes. Happened at this college. Yep, we did uh, Dr. Horrible Sing Along Glow. We actually did a stage production of the show. Put it together. Yep, I did all the tech. All the tech. You were supposed to have help. Uh, we, I had help at the very beginning from like six people, and then they stopped showing up. Yeah. Um, and then I recruited two other people because I was going insane. The guy we found to play Dr. Horrible was the best. I couldn't oh, ask Captain for, Hammer and Dr. Horrible both. I could not have asked for better actors for those. And the guy we got for Dr. Horrible had never acted before, never nope. sang before. No, nope. and he did great. Nailed it. He just knocked it out of the park. Gray. If you're listening to this, my heart goes out to you, and I miss you, and you were phenomenal. I yes. Forget that. Also, I still have your screwdriver. Yeah, do you? I, I still have your Game Boy screwdriver here. That's tough. Um, also... If I ever run into you again, remind me. Ryan, my heart goes out to you. You were fantastic. Did you see, ever see the commercial he did for AB Tech? Yeah, yeah. I was there when they filmed it. Oh, were you? Yeah. I, I was at work. I was working at Ingles, and it came on the TV, or not Ingles, uh, Target. Yeah, no, and it came on the TV in break room. I'm like, hey, yeah, no, I know him. He was in my acting for the camera class, and he left class regularly to go film it. Um, that, yeah, that was a couple I mean, people in my class room. I, I love some of the stupidity of some of these classes. Oh, I, I'm in my acting for the camera class, but I got to leave to go act on camera. Well, that was the point. Yeah. Like, he, that's why he was allowed to. Yeah. Because, uh, Steve. Because uh, pa, 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 Pete was like, yeah, no, go ahead, you're in, you mean, that's the whole point. Yeah. Oh, here's Clive Lawrence. There goes Clive Lawrence. Hi, bye. He did. You did now. You got really happy with that pistol. Once you figured out how to work it, you're like, yes. Well, I the enemies don't move. Yeah. They true. like to stand there, so they yeah. give me time to other, wail on them. Other, uh, there's video evidence of this. Go back and watch our Resident Evil 7 playthrough. Right? Oh, yeah. Not shoot for shit. I can't. I if can't. they move, Robert can't shoot them. And they stand still or come at you in a straight line. That's why, uh, that's why I play Farah and uh, Junkrat. Yeah. It's because they have splash damage. I don't have to hit them. I have to hit near them. That was a weird uh, transition there, but we'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we're talking about Overwatch. Yeah. Uh, how Which long is the episode? Uh, I don't know. It was a long episode. Not really. I mean, we, I stopped for like five, six minutes. Yeah. We're probably coming up near the end of it. Probably. Anyway. Uh, this is weird. This is like doing your own DVD commentary. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. But, um, yeah, no, uh, Overwatch, the new, uh, season just started. Also, there's a new map out. Yeah, I heard. The Lunar Colony. Yep. Which is exciting. Well, it's not out yet. It's, uh, on PTR right now. Yeah. But it'll be out soon enough. Uh, for those of you who don't know, PTR is part of the test region, which you can sign up for under Blizzard. It's free to play. It just gives you basically access to the experimental build of the game. So you can hop in and do the test of everything. Roadhog 
I hope you never play Roadhog. I don't. I hate playing Roadhog. Did you hear what happened? Uh huh. He got nerfed. Oh yeah, I did. Hard. Thirty-three percent damage reduction. I he I heard about that. Yeah. Like, he kind of needed it. No, yeah, because he was OP as hell. Well, no, it definitely reduces the amount of characters he can one hit now, which is great. Yeah. But it's still just like, wow, that's a heck of a damage. Um. For all your Roadhog mains out there, I cry a tear of solitary weep for you. Like I'm sad. For you. I'm not. Fuck you. That's really unwarranted. I hate Roadhog. Yeah, but you don't have to hate the people behind Roadhog. No, I hate them too. That's mean. That's rude. I don't help it. Anyway, um, what else? Uh. Wow. Well, well, here we are at the end of the episode. Yep. Oh. Well, thank you so much for. Wait, is it? No, this is when we change the difficulty. I think. Uh, no. No, we were looking what subtitles. Were looking I don't what know. Were what were you looking for? Controls. Why? Because we were having issues with something. Oh, getting rid of the little flickery things. The oh, right, the lock on. Now that I know I can do that lock on though, yeah, it, it is good to know because uh, I can do that for other enemies. Yeah, and then leave and know where the hell they are. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, the, the scope's very useful because the scope lets you know. I just, would like it if I didn't lock on from six miles away. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, what else? It's gonna be a very boring next three episodes. No. Well, they, well, they, we don't have anything to talk about. No. What was that? My knee. What about your knee? It hurt. I'm right. sitting in a weird position. I'm an old man. I'm fat, and that's what it is. Should not weigh as much as it does. Man, I'll tell you something. You want to drive me nuts losing weight? What? I keep dropping down like five, six pounds, yeah. and then going right back in like two days. Yeah. Yeah. Every time you come over, I end up right back at my starting weight. You blame me. I do. Blame me. I do. All my fault. Yep. I call. He's an enabler. He lets me go eat fast food. I do not. Yep. I do not. I suggest fast food, and he's like, yeah, sure. Because I don't think about it, right? Yeah. I have a metabolism that works. It's true. Yep. I can eat, like, a whole chocolate cake and nothing. It's still 130. Fuck you. I can't. It's not my fault. I eat a whole chocolate cake. If I, I gain five pounds. If I could gain weight, I would like to gain weight, but I can't. Like, let me tell you my weight. My, my, uh, uh, uh. uh, uh a squirrel. Wow, you are. A I can see it. Stop. I I can see the squirrel through the curtain. Let me tell you my weight gain loss journey. So I weighed one twenty. Okay, weighed one twenty my whole life. One twenty. Soaking wet. Went to the gym. Started working out. Gained ten pounds up to one thirty. Kidney failed. Started dialysis for a year and a half. End of dialysis. Back like as soon as I started dialysis, back down to one twenty. Lost 10 pounds, because it just takes everything on Yeah. I'm finally, after getting my second kidney transplant, stable at 130. No. Finally. Yeah. It took two kidney transplants to gain 10 pounds. That, like, I can't gain weight. It sucks. And that 10, like, pound, 10 pounds is just the other kidney. Why? It was a huge uh, kidney. Oh, yeah, you know, I was like, no, I was like, and everyone's like, oh, you're so skinny. You need to eat something. You're like little baby bars. And I'm like, okay. Why are they Italian? Why is everyone Italian? Are you ignoring me? Uh, but yeah, no, I'm like, I, I couldn't gain weight. Everyone's like, I finally gained 10 pounds, and it's still like, it's 10 pounds, it's not that much. I'm no. still tiny. I have like no muscle, I'm just tiny blobs of fat randomly distributed around my body. Yeah. My chunky. Person. Oh, you got pretty muscular arms. Glad you noticed it. Well, your forearms, at least. You, you definitely got some musculature there. Yeah, well, you know. Mine's all in my legs. What I do in my free time. Me and my 18-inch calves. Nobody got that joke, and it's hilarious. Yeah, I, I got it. I don't know, you got it. Everybody else got that. They probably got it. They probably got it. Anyway, uh, so are we still on the same episode? I don't know. There's no, we have to do the same episode. Because we didn't do an intro. It wasn't an exit. I think we stopped, uh, yeah. on, the I think we stopped on the stairs. I think we stopped somewhere. Yeah. I think it was after this. Oh, uh, I think it's right here. I think we might stop it right here. I think, yeah, I think it was after we got went through the door. Yeah, I think it was. Oh All right, well, thank you for watching this episode. Of Big well, hang on. Let's make sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty Before we do an outro. I'm pretty positive. We go through the door. I'm pretty positive. Are we sure? Yes. Ninety percent positive.
I am positive. For an STD. Stop that out the door. Yeah, I'm positive. For an STD. That that Miko girl is such a whore. She won't let him she's, have a crime. She's positive. She and he will reunite. You know I'm right. I'm positive. That implies if you guess what that musical's from. No. Guess what that's from. What musical that's from. I can English. By the way, it's legally blonde. There's still 10 points if you got this. If you didn't get that, watch my musical. We're really good. What do I do for It's just you. What do I do? It's I'm, all you. That's not true. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm, I'm certain. You're certain. I'm so certain. I'm certain. I'm not certain. I, you were not certain at all. You nope. were bare chesting it in the wind. Yep. I'm pretty sure that there are other people in the world who are just like me who are equally passionate about musicals. Yeah. I hope so, anyway. Like that, Legally Blonde, I like Heather's the musical. You know they made a musical out of the movie, Yeah, Heather's. you told me. It's really, really good. You played me a bunch of stuff from it's it. It's really good, isn't it? You're a theater kid! How can you go meh? I'm meh. I, I, I became a theater kid in college. Yeah. You've I, always been a that's theater why kid. I grew up with theater kids. Yeah, I that's didn't. I, I, my Before show, college, I've seen maybe four plays in my life. I did my first show in... Now I've seen maybe six. I did my first show in 2003. Yeah. I was 13. Yeah. So I've been doing shows for over 13 years. Remember See, we booped the button. We did boop the button. I mean, is this where we stop? Where did we stop? Did we miss... Probably. No. No. Because this was after your phone was dead. No. We, your phone was dead at this point. Was it? Yeah. Are you, are you certain? I'm pretty certain. You're not certain at all. No. What? No. No, this is where we stop. This is right. I think it's right around here. All right. I hope it is. Oh, uh, this is a... Johnny Pauline, the new kid in town. Okay. Can we stop singing songs? Why? Why? Why did I start? I sing one song and you get so upset and then you just put a ban on it. Because you like, sing like, you don't sing just one song. You sing like five songs. Right. And you don't realize you sing five songs. What's, what's, what, I'm sure our audience loves it. Did, uh, oh, I didn't break the cup. No, you didn't. You're evolving. No, You're You're I just changing. didn't notice it. I'm, I'm, I'm certain that our audience loves me singing. You're certain? Right, guys. Like Read the comments. I, know I, I have no problem with singing. What I have a problem with is when you keep doing the same songs. Or when you do like six songs in a row. Okay, so you have a problem with singing. No, I just don't want to get a copyright strike. No, you're just like, I don't have, we won't get copyright strikes. Okay, we won't get copyright strikes if we're singing it because we're not. It, it, it won't pick up us. Meh. Anyway. People are still whiny. It's like, I don't have a problem with singing. I just have a problem when singing is done around me. Like, exactly. That's, 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 that's. No, I, I, I'm okay with singing. I just don't like non-stop singing. Well, you you know, gotta take a break once in a while. Well, you know what they say. Go more than one episode. Well, you know they, go more than one episode. Yeah. I'll try. I'll try my darkness. I, I didn't sing at all during To the Moon. No, because we were reading lines. That's true. I, and I'm sure you did at some point. No, I don't know what you did. Yeah, you did. You did in that last recording we did. What? Did I say when we were in the, uh, I don't remember what you sang. I know you remember you sang when we were in the in NASA. Are you certain? I am certain. Oh, okay. I don't know if I guess I still NASA. Maybe I might have. I might not have actually sung. I might have just been like a doodle a beep It's possible. That's not singing. No. That's called music. And here's where we realized there was a hole in it. Yeah, I think we ended after we yeah, watched this recording. I think you're right. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's, There's a hole, hole in the bottom, bottom of the sea. sea. I made you sing. I, I, I sing too. <laughs> I just don't do it nearly as much as you do. I also sing. That's like, that's like, uh... What's your act? Well, I think I sing and dance. See, there's a, a, there's a difference too between singing and singing for a gag. Is there? You like to just randomly sing a song that has yeah. nothing to do with what we're doing. What's wrong with that? Because it doesn't fit with what we're doing. Okay, well, I'll start making the song to do with what we're doing. Yeah. How about this? No, I, I'll tell you when I, I started getting sick of the singing. When? Was it that episode of Horizon? Yeah. Uh, it's already up. Yeah. Where you spent half the song, or half the, half the song, half the episode, just making up a song, and you kept going. I didn't really, that's and it was... Like, Awful. Oh, awful. I mean awesome. No, I mean awful. It was awesome. It was awesome. You know how much work that takes to actually keep up an improv? Oh, no, I totally do. And I get it. 
but it was bad and you knew it was bad from the bit uh, from the start hey, but hey, you kept hey, going hey hey at least i have not done to you what i did to my old channel and killed it okay. <laughs> well, that was brutal first off but no i just spent an entire two episodes in a row of one game doing nothing but making bad puns i mean isn't that all we do nothing but no every sentence i said i'm not oh Please, thank you for watching. This has been Game Grumps. <laughs> we are not Game Grumps. I yeah. wish we were Game Grumps. No way, affiliated with Game Grumps. Bigger Moons Gaming. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification button. Do all I can't stuff. pause it. Next time on Bigger Moons Gaming. That was a great outro. <laughs>